Good morning, fish family. This is Ron, Garage Aquatics 2023. I saw a post on that new app, Fish Stream. Uh, somebody was asking how to feed baby bettas. And since I've got some, and they're also mixed in here with uh, my baby Corey's, I'm gonna tell you how I feed them. So first off, a lot of you have seen this tank before, and you know there's a bunch of mulm in here. Uh, and in the mulm, I'm certain there are lots of little microorganisms that the baby Corys are constantly feeding down in there. And there's also um, plants in here. There's hornwort and uh, uh, Amazon frogbit and duckweed. Um, and also, you know, there's kind of an algae bloom along the back, right? And the water itself is crystal clear. And there's a, it's hard to find these little guys. There's a baby Cory, um, another baby Cory. And there are baby bettas in here. And they're, they're kind of hard to find too. And now that I am, got the video in their face, they're hiding. Um, I started out with probably 60 quarry eggs, and I'm thinking there's probably still nearly as many. There's a baby betta on the surface right there, um, under the weed. Oh, here it comes, the little white one. There it goes out the other end, there it is. Um, so what I'd been doing uh, early on I tried to culture Daphne and I only had moderate success. Now the baby bettas are really small. They're the freshly hatched fry. So I think they're even too small for baby brine shrimp. But now they're at a size where they can take baby brine. And I hatch my own and you've seen my video on, on how to create a, you know, a kind of a do-it-yourself brine shrimp hatchery. There's another uh, baby betta right there, the white one, one of the bigger ones. And another one, where'd it go? Right, hiding right there. Um, let's see if I can get that right there. Um, and also I had a video on, after creating the uh, brine shrimp hatchery, how I go about making brine shrimp. And so anyway, I, I had a batch of brine shrimp, baby brine shrimp and I pulled it yesterday so they're in this Talanti ice cream cup. Uh, that's the brine water that I hatched them in. Uh, and I put it in the fridge overnight after I, I fed them. And they are, I don't think, I don't know if we can see this or not. Of course, moving it and all the reflection doesn't help. But they are in there swimming around still. So they're, they're working. They're, you know, they survived overnight in the fridge. And I've got one of these little pipette eyedroppers. And so I'm just gonna suck up some of the brine shrimp. Now here we've got a, a tube full. Um, and I'll just I can drop it in the water or put the pipette in the water and you can see the brine shrimp coming out there. And they will, uh, they will feed on that. You can see the little white, the little white betta back in here, right back in there. Um, see if we can get some Got an old iPhone X in it. I gotta get something with a better camera. Something better for video, but that's one of them there. And the Corys will come out, and then, I don't know, they come back in about an hour, and all you see are these little fat orange bellies, because they're still small enough and transparent enough you can see all the brine shrimp that they've picked up. So I'll give them a couple squirts, and that they'll come out of the woodwork for it. There's that next cloud of it coming down. And uh, it's a good source of protein. And a little bit of salinity in that's not going to hurt anything. Doesn't hurt the plants, doesn't hurt the fish. And it keeps them fat and happy, and they are growing. Um, the Cory's hatched out, I think, on the 18th of October. And, and the the Baby betta's about the same. So they're all just about a month old now. And they are happy and healthy. And I know I've seen a lot of videos 
on, you know, quarries and baby quarries raising them uh, and baby bettas and how uh, the tanks need to be spotless. And it's like, I just am not finding that to be true. They seem to do really well in here. Because uh, like I said, in the mom, there's lots of microorganisms that they can feed on. They feed all day long. They feed on the brine uh, and then they just feed. They're constantly picking around. Uh, they'll pick on the hornwort. They'll pick on the roots of the Amazon frog bit. They'll pick up under the algae. Um, so they're constantly feeding. There's there's some uh, biofilm on these twigs. So they're just, you know, I'll see them picking in that. Um, so I think, you know, this tank seems like it's more uh, kind of almost like a what I would think a more slightly more natural environment than a, you know, crystal clear bottom and, and you know, spotless water. Uh, the water, like I said, is, is absolutely crystal clear. Uh, there's a little heater back there. I think it's heated to about 76. Got a thermometer on here somewhere, I thought, but maybe not. Yep, thermometer, 77 it says, Fahrenheit. Um, not sure what that is in Celsius. Um, I've got an app on my phone called Units Plus that would tell me that, but if I close the video to open that, you guys will go away. So I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, but you could you could sort it out if you need to know. There's another little bit on the surface. Oh, they just, see, they pop under. That's a nice thing about this uh, Amazon frog bit. It's great cover for them. So they'll pop under that. They'll pop in and out of the duckweed. I can see his little head sticking out. Um, it's little head, who knows? Little male, little female, there it is. Uh, the bubbles are probably hiding it. It's gonna be right back in here. But they're doing well. They're doing really well. And anyway, that's that's what this whole thing was about, how, uh, how I feed my baby bettas and the, the uh, little baby Corys are part of the mix. There's another one right there. There it is. So anyway, hope you all have a great day. Um, hope this helps. Um, and again, you know, uh, these are my opinions. So you got to do what works best for you. And that's, that's the important part of this. There's a lot of people out there that pound the table with their dogma. But, you know, um, it's just really what works best for you. And this is working really well for me. There's two little bettas right there. So I hope you get something out of that and have a great day.